right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. All right, Griffin, it is in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to corners, come out there. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both these competitors. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch landed. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. The takedown is there. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Under two minutes now to go. Pretty good right hand. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of... If you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down to the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Not hurting you too bad, but we can't allow that to happen. We've got to get back up to our feet. The guard is all... Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round fight. underway. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of Better him than me. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Head kick is blocked. Massive elbow to the punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big knee to the head, wow. Oh, yes, now we're going. Both guys landing big shots. gets the underhook. Well, a lot of damage being inflicted here up against the fence, and I guess if the opponent's not gonna move, you might as well continue to throw. It's a brutal type of fight. He's fighting his style as good as we've seen in a real long time. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type. Speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack on bar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Guard here, DC, what does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, 
you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a switch. His opponent's got it. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. She's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. He might get a finish here. All right, nice job there by the corner after that previous round as our next round gets underway, and their fighter is under two. He was close on the submission in the previous round. He's going to get right back to it. He's like a dog on a ball. He's going to continue to attack, 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 until he eventually gets what he wants. Oh, nice straight punch there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Nice punch, oh, Landry. Good oh. job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Big kick land. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double. Just over three minutes now to go. Big call from punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every time you get up, you go down. That's another kick. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler, you know. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Under one minute remains in round three. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 30 seconds, left. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go now. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round.
Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high cross entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his grounded bomb. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. Boy, Ty Plum. Liver kick, if you take the kick, he's gonna shut your body off. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one, might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that he's gonna take it to his back, and watch him defense, and then beat you up with the fight stand. Nice strike. I mean, he's cut down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Well, oh, the great Edson Barboza would be proud. Another combination of leg kicks and aging the Motrin man. Those are going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> There's just no tell. You never know when it's coming. That leg is so fast off the ground and gets the target. It's amazing. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Why he engages in the single collar tie. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Boom! He blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big body kick. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big knee. He lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Huge damage from that elbow. Look at him chopping the wood. Oh! How about those five minutes? Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. It is the fifth and final round. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, nice. Nice. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, huge block. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, a single. Oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. <laughs> Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Stuff to take down, no problem. Good punch. Single power tie now. 
left hand punch with the clinch. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Oh! He's a trouble. He's a snake. Oh, diving punch. Oh, he got a hurt back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, good defense here to stay upright after that single leg takedown offering. And they separate. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice. Ooh, head kick lands and just hurts. Oh, big knee. Single collar tie now. Oh, and now a perfect toss DC. We'll see if he can capitalize from here. I mean, that was beautiful. The way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip toss. Oh! Excuse me? Windshield check. Hey, win oh, with him. You usually see this in grappling competitions with the key, John. A lot of downward pressure here, DC. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Magic Man. So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing.